What's up guys and welcome back our YouTube fishing family to AFNS Outdoors. I'm Justin Lewis and this week we are in South Central Kansas and I cannot wait for you guys to see the little hidden gem that we have for this week's show. We have found probably one of the best little frogging ponds possible that we have ever been to. Um, I cannot wait for you guys to see this little place. So I am known to overpack and overbring tons and tons of equipment, but today this is all I am taking with me. I've got my frog and rod and a handful of top toads. And I've got some more frogs in my pack, but that's it. We are frogging today because this pond has a ton of submerged vegetation and vegetation up on top. And that's what we are doing today. We are going frogging. I hope you guys are as pumped as I am. We're not even going to waste any more time with the intro. We're strapping on the GoPro. Sun is coming up. It's like 7.30 in the morning. It is perfect. It is super hot here in central Kansas. It has been getting like 108 degrees during the day but it is beautiful right now. The fish are already hitting. I can hear them busting on the surface right now. So if you guys like seeing some bass blow up on topwater frogs, smash that like button for us. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate the support. Thanks for tuning in. This is AFNS Outdoors. All right, guys, here we go. Got the frog and stick, seven, six heavy, lose tournament MB. I think this is in a, yep, yeah, this is in an 8.3 to 1. Got some heavy braid, got a handful of top toads. We're going to start out with the white one. This one's been munched. Look at that thing. Oh, she looks froggy. She looks froggy. We're going to go ahead and set up the top toad weedless. What I mean by that is these hooks normally sit out just a little bit we're gonna go ahead and tuck them just right into that fold just like that just like that boys and girls i do not think this is gonna take long there's a lot of vegetation but these bass are gonna find pockets pockets to hide in now the other side might be a little better we'll go over there in a minute oh yeah first cast first cast first cast and we got him we got him get through the grass oh yeah that's why you put on the big braid. Oh, that's why you get the good braid. Oh yeah. Look at that big old grass bass. Big old grass bass, get up here beautiful. Oh, I lost my frog. That one was ripped out though. That frog had seen better days. But look at that. Big old beautiful bass on the first cast. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is gonna be a good day. First cast. Nice little two pounder to start the day. Beautiful fish. Sorry, baby girl, but we are gonna have to give you a little bit of a throw here to get you back in there healthier yes you are thank you girl thank you girl oh it is gonna be a good day yes sir and see i did lose my frog but that's the great thing about these top toads is you can buy them with you can buy them with the hooks already in there or you can just buy the replacement frogs and screw in your own frog so i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the bullfrog get away from the white with the bright sun because uh, I only lost the plastic frog the hook's still perfect got the screw lock it's already got right in the nose shows you where to put the screw lock in at 
Just got to take a minute, make sure you get it lined up just how you want it. Screws right on. Go ahead and screw her all the way down. Line her up. Get those hooks set. Get your braid set. And then in the open water, you can run it with the hooks a little more exposed. You can even bend the hooks out a little bit. But since we're fishing where it's pretty weedy, I'm going to go ahead and run it in the weedless setup. Tuck those hooks just a little bit. Oh, that did not take long, did it? No. No, it did not. First cast. But helps to have that 7.6 heavy and that 8.3 reel. Pick up that slack. And then that backbone to get them out of that grass. Oh, <laughs> right there. Oh, he came off. <laughs> He came off. Dang it. I saw the wake too. Let's see, he was right out here. Let's see if he'll come back for it. Yep, he came back for it. Oh, that's a nice fish. Holy cow. Nice fish. Woo. <laughs> oh, you could not go a lighter setup in all this crap, though. My goodness. Oh, another nice fish. Good night. Two and a half, probably three pounder. Good gravy. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Smoke that frog. Man, I'm having fun. This is already so much fun, it's ridiculous. My girl. Yes, I am having to give him a little toss to get him back in there, but look at all this vegetation. You gotta give him a little a little toss to get them back in there. They'll be fine, I promise. Oh, that one's gonna get thumped. Gonna get thumped. Oh, oh, he's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Come on. Try to keep the camera down and get the fish out of the grass at the same time. Come on. Come on. Up, oh, girl. There we go. Look at that one. Yes, sir. Oh. Another nice fish. Holy cow. We were just smoking them. Another two pounder. Nice. That one didn't stand a chance. As soon as that one landed out there, I knew. This vegetation is perfect for all these little bluegill in here. That is what these bass are eating on primarily other than frogs. There is a plethora of year classes of bluegill in here. 
and these bass are just munching them. You can see them hiding in the vegetation all over the place. Yo! I almost hit myself with a frog. I almost whacked myself in the head. Okay, let's see if we can get this one. He's sitting right here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The answer was yes. Yes, we can. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. Yes, we can. Oh man, I love this. If you guys don't love this, something is wrong with you. Oh man. All right, fishing family. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, make sure you hit that like button for me because I am having a blast. I've only been here probably 30 minutes or so and I've only stood in one spot. I was standing right down there, casting out into this little pocket right here. And I've probably caught 15 or so fish, and there is no way I'm gonna be able to show you guys all these fish. Um, purely because of the time constraint for these videos. I mean, I could probably film a two hour video out of this, which I don't think I would complain because I would probably watch a two hour video of nothing but frog blow-ups because that would entertain me and I would probably watch it. I don't know about you, but I would probably watch it. But I am having a ton of fun. So I am, I am enjoying the crap out of today, to be honest with you. The fact that there is so much submerged vegetation is making this a lot of fun because you can see these fish come up in the wake. It is just building the tension. You can see the weight coming up and you just know that a blow up is imminent. And then you finally get that big blow up and it is just awesome. Topwater frog fishing is one of my favorite styles of fishing for bass. And this pond is not disappointing whatsoever. We have not really caught any small fish. Um, we caught that one, I caught one that was kind of weird looking. Uh, he had a weird kind of bump on his back and stuff. It looked like he had gotten beaten up at some point. But other than that, they have all been very healthy fish. And there is no doubt in my mind that these are real healthy fish with all of the amount of bluegill that I can see in this vegetation. There are a lot of year classes of bluegill um, from real small bluegill to big bluegill. So you know they are healthy, they are eating well. Um, the bass look great. So this is quickly becoming one of my favorite ponds. Um, nice little hidden gym down here in South Central Kansas. Got that one. Nice jump. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Nice fish. That's what I like too, with that screw lock. See how that frog moves out of the way of the hooks. So frog's out here, hooks are in there. Helps save that bait. And those two hooks do their job. Nice fish. Ripple, there he is, got him. Stay up, stay up. Oh, he's in the grass, he's in the grass, come on. Up, up, up. Put you guys down. There we go. Bringing 800 pounds of grass with us, but I think he's still on there.
There we go. Is there a fish in there? A little one. <laughs> There's a fish in there. Woo! That was a workout. It could have been like a five pounder. That would have been nice for all that work. Oh, really? Thanks, buddy. Oh, man. I'm tired after that one. All right, guys, up here taking a quick break, getting some water. It's hot. You know, it's it's Kansas. The sun's coming up. Uh, time check says, time check says what? It's nine o'clock, so it's getting warm now. We're probably hitting about that 90 degree mark. You know, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I had to get a new frog, but I found a new gauge for how to tell if you're having a good day. So I told you guys already, I can't show you all the fish. I wish I could, but the video would be too long. So I think I'm at like 40 bass probably. 30, 40 bass by now. So here's the new gauge. Um, I can no longer unlock my iPhone uh, because of the bass thumb. So I don't think it'll focus on this. Maybe it will. Maybe. My iPhone will no longer recognize my thumb. So that's the new standard, or at least that's my new standard of how to tell if I'm having a good day of fishing, is if my iPhone will no longer accept my thumbprint, I know I'm having a good day of fishing. So just throwing that out there. But we're gonna go get back at it. But I needed some water, had to check my phone, but I can't check my phone, you know, without the pin number now because I can't get into it because of fast thumb, so. We're having a good day, is what I'm saying. I really like this pond. I really like topwater fishing. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We're crushing it, but we're probably about an hour, hour and a half away from calling it a day because it's getting hot. Vultures are starting to circle. They're like, this boy's gonna die. Yeah, vultures are coming, they just know. In this heat, I'm going to drop dead here soon. Go away. I'm stronger than I look. They're calling BS. So I better catch some fish before I drop dead. And they win. Just kind of picking at these pads now. I'm trying to figure out if they're under some of these shady spots. Got that one. It's a nice fish. Get up here. Get up here. There we go. Short and stocky. Yes, you are. Short and stocky. Pop that hook out. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice fish. We'll end on you over here. We'll go back to the other side for a little bit. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Rip all the way out. Just on the other side of this moss line. Yeah, right in there. Saw some bass jumping out there earlier. And then bring it across the moss just to this side. There should be another open lane for him. Yep, right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. Get up here, big girl. Oh, tell you what, my right hand is shredded from their mouths, and my left hand is shredded from catching the braid all day. And I'm not complaining one bit all right fishing family it is getting hot almost too hot to stand it we've had an amazing day so you know what time it is it is the last fish so i like to end my days on one last fish one last catch catch that fish let her go and end the day on a positive note so we're gonna set the hook one last time get her in watch her go and end the day on a positive note. So hope you guys are enjoying it. 
I'm gonna get that fish in. Once we do, smash that like button if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And we're gonna end the day on a positive note. Here we go. All right guys, frog still looks good, but it is getting hot. So we are at that time, final fish. Like I said, I like to end the day with one last fish. Catch the last fish, let her go, end the day with some positive vibes. Instead of that last cast mentality, I like to have that last fish mentality. Sending her on her way, watching her swim off. Even though this time I'm gonna have to kinda toss her a little bit. So, no matter what size she is, could be a 10 pounder or a 10 incher, doesn't matter. Last fish and we're on our way out. It is getting warm. There she is. I was just about to say, I bet it's getting to be about 95 degrees. Oh, and we are bringing in a bunch of grass with her. She did not let that frog sit over there. Hadn't really cast into that area, so. Oh, she got off. Let's see if we can get her. Let's see if we can get her. We can get her. Oh, there she is. She got a little grass. Like I said, it don't matter if she's 10 inches or 10 pounds and she's definitely closer to that 10 inches than 10 pounds. But that makes me happy, so. That last fish, there she is. Great way to end the day. We'll give her a little scoot out into the grass, into that water so she can get out and we'll go up and end the video. Here we go. See you, girl. She'll get out of here. I don't even think I can wash off my hands without getting too muddy. All right, guys. Well, I seriously hope you enjoyed today's video because I had an absolute blast making it for you today. I cannot tell you the number of fish. It was probably in that 40 to 50 range. And I didn't even take any other baits with me. I took one rod and a handful of frogs, and that is the only thing I threw this morning. And every single fish came on these frogs. And like I said, I will link them in the description below, and I'll also link the hooks that we were using. Um, they go together, so uh, make sure you guys check out the description and you guys can check out those baits. Like I said, I get most of mine from Tackle Warehouse, but you guys can pick them up at other places too. And they do, they go on sale quite often. And I do buy mine kind of in bulk quantities because with that screw lock, especially when you're catching 40 or 50 fish, in a morning, um, those noses do rip out because they are soft. So it's not like a regular frog with the skirts where you're tying to that metal eyelet. Um, you will go through a little bit more of these, but I do like the way that these fish, um, you can still fish them, you can pop them, and then you can kind of fish them with those paddle tail legs. You can fish them a little bit more like a buzz bait and they make a really great commotion and I absolutely love them. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video because it, it was a blast this morning. I cannot tell you how much I love to frog fish and this pond is perfect for that. Um, no giants, nothing over that probably three, three and a half pound range, but just a blast to get out this morning before it gets, you know, 108 degrees again today in Kansas, which is just miserable. But mornings are great right now. The evenings are great um, if you can stand a little bit of the heat. But this is probably one of my favorite videos that I filmed so far this year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're still traveling across Kansas over the next couple weeks. So we're gonna be fishing for some different things over that time. So hopefully you guys will be checking those out. And as always, we'll see you same time, same place next week, right here on AFNS Outdoors.